Sport diversity is a topic of growing interest uh, for businesses, governments and investors alike. Here at NUS Business School, one of the things we found was that those boards that have more women also tend to be companies that are more profitable. So at Corn Ferry, we work with companies to help them find the best talent so that they can deliver sustained and profitable business. Boards that are more diverse make better decisions. We've been tracking board diversity across Asia Pacific for the last four years. With advances in technology, we're seeing disruptions happening everywhere. In what we call VUCA world, companies really need to think quickly and rapidly to adjust to the changing marketplace. Diversity helps companies stay relevant through bringing different perspectives, and this in turn creates better business models. Based on our research, 10.2% of the board seats across uh, Asia Pacific are women, and that's only a very minor imp uh, improvement from last year when we found that 9.4% of the directors were women. We looked at the top 100 companies in 10 Asia-Pacific economies and we find that the region lags well behind uh, European Union, uh, UK and US in terms of board diversity. The greatest improvement was seen in Malaysia, uh, where now 12.5% uh, of the board members are women, up from 8.3%. Uh, in the last year. The Malaysia government has actually taken a very strong lead in the region by setting a target of 30% by 2016 and we still have a long way to go to reach that target. We also saw a big improvement in India uh, where the numbers are now almost two times uh, the level they were three years ago at 8.6% women. The Indian government has uh, implemented changes to the Company Act which now requires one woman on each listed company board. Australia leads the region with now almost 22% of the directors women. The Australian Institute of Company Directors has now set a target of 30% female directors by 2018 for the ASX 200 companies. But other other countries lag far behind. For instance, South Korea, 82% of the boards are all male affairs and there are currently only 2.6% uh, female directors in the country. We do also not see any action on the part of the Korean government to change this. Singapore also fares rather poorly compared to other Asia-Pacific countries with 7.7% women. In fact, they are ranked number 8 out of the 10 economies we studied in Asia-Pacific. So studies like ours help raise awareness for the business case for diversity. Companies with more than 10% female board members also tend to be more profitable companies. Board and leadership teams with homogenous thinking cannot react to fast changing market conditions. Without government action or pressure, very little progress is made. Unless we step up momentum, it will take another decade for Asia Pacific region to catch up with developed economies. So it's really a question of survival and staying relevant.